It's 1917, the heavens couldn't be more open if they tried. And participants have the gruelling 1,000 km Brands Hatch ahead of them. As it turns out, the resulting race routinely is listed as one of motorsport's most compelling. The fastest lap belongs to the man who started in pole position, Chris Amon. But the star of the show is Pedro Rodriguez. Not only did the Mexican race driver complete 235 laps, five more than Amon, he did so with a yellow flag. So good was Rodriguez in the Porsche 917K, in fact, that Eamon famously joked, why doesn't someone tell Pedro that it's raining? In this Project Cars 2 challenge, you're going to need all the wet weather skill you can muster. Set the circuit to Brands Hatch GP, stick the weather to Storm, drive the Porsche 917K, and see how fast a lap time you can manage. The 235 laps is, of course, optional. Now here's how I got on. FYI, this is the PC version at 4K, so crank up that resolution if your display and internet can handle it. The steering wheel, meanwhile, is the Thrustmaster TSXW, and pedals are the new TLCMs from the same company. ABS is on purely for time constraint reasons. Apologies in advance for not being as good as Rodriguez. So, as I said, custom race. Brands Hatch GP 917K, I believe that is part of the Porsche Pack DLC thing. We'll do spring. Storm only, because the weather that day was not great, as you saw earlier. Difficult weather conditions, difficult car. Really, really hard to drive, apparently, in real life. I've not had the chance, sadly. Maybe one day. By the way, this is, as I said earlier, on PC. And recording a different angle, you can see my glorious face. Or just face, more, more accurate. So maybe things will go wrong, I'm not sure, but basically I want to do videos where I try and mimic real life races. want to try and put a sort of motoring journalist spin on these videos and talk about how the cars feel and handle, as well as just trying to do well. But anyway, normally I just used to film the wheel. Hopefully you like to see the wheel and me driving. I mean, the dream would be able to do the pedal cam and also, I mean, a chest cam, but then it, it just <laughs> gets ridiculous. Where do you draw the line? I don't have the highest hopes. Let's see what we can do. I do know this course kind of well. Better than the car, anyway. Going for the cockpit view. Because I love that. Graphics are really cool on this, I'm not gonna lie. Nearly went. She has got some serious pace. She does like to understeer if you don't make her slide. Of course, you start going downhill here, unweightens the tyres back and front. Bad line, very bad line. Okay, so lap one, some teething problems, shall we say, that's okay, we can adjust. It is satisfying though to drive in this, this weather. Nice line. A little bit too far out that way. That's okay. And she's a bit of a pig. It really makes you appreciate just how good these drivers were. Not just Rodriguez, but 
particularly him in this race, as discussed earlier. I mean, I'm obviously I do get paid to drive for a living, but I don't get paid to race. That is very different. But to be able to do a few laps in a car like this is hard enough, as you can see. Let alone for 235. See, there I was thinking of another corner. That was stupid. The noise of the engine when you put your foot down. It's nice, especially these headphones are pretty decent, actually. Okay, here we go again. Now, just to give you sort of insight into their pace and my lack of, they were doing, I think the fastest lap by uh, Chris Amon was 128.600. Rodriguez didn't have the fastest lap, but he averaged, well, his best, sorry, was a uh, 130. I don't think I'm going to get anywhere near that in my five allocated laps. Oh, that was annoying because we weren't bad. Okay, come on, Ben. Let's see if you can string a lap together. Even if I don't do brilliantly, it is <laughs> particularly fun. The game looks pretty damn good with this graphics card. I quite like the Ayrton Senna method of accelerating. We mash the accelerator on the way out just constantly until you get traction. It's a fun way to drive. I think in the wet, it's uh, not the easiest. And also, my school level runs out much sooner than uh, those guys, that's for sure. should at some point get this game oh it was a bit of a cut the marshals weren't lucky I should really get this game of VR sorry trying to concentrate easier said than done oh he's buggered it
Not a great line though at all. It's just the wet makes it so hard to sort of do your normal lines, braking, acceleration. Tires just don't really seem to want to do a huge amount. And we hit the puddles. <sighs> that was not the best. Somehow he saved that. <laughs> Oh, I love that one. <laughs> I think we can f safely say this lap has been a complete failure. However, I have enjoyed driving it, and yeah, the appreciation for these guys and their time, just insane. I'm not even worrying about life and death. Yeah, fine, I can't feel the G-forces. It is tough enough as it is. There we go. Not the greatest lap, but we had a go. We tried. Now let me know in the comments if you like this and if you have any challenge ideas as well. I'm going to be drawing up a sort of list, uh, looking back at cool motorsport events, things that you can actually do in a particular racing game. Because sometimes you don't have the car the same horsepower, not the same circuit, but generally most of the PC games have probably most races, if not all, between them. Anyway, thank you for watching, take care, subscribe, like and all that stuff. I shall see you in the next video!